What's up guys, David Land here. Welcome to Indy 500 month, but it's kind of turning into Fernando Alonso month uh, because we are taking a look at today uh, something that just came out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Uh, this is an Oyo of Fernando Alonso. Uh, this is like a Lego knockoff. It's like a Lego minifigure, except for it's a little more articulated and uh, the plastic's a little bit cheaper. Uh, but since this just came out, I mean literally just came out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, uh, I went over there uh, just to, to buy a shirt for race day, and I saw these on the shelves, and I knew I had to buy it, because uh, I know there's a lot of people out there, uh, judging by the, the response to my uh, Alonzo qualifying video, that are very interested in Alonzo IndyCar merchandise, and this thing right here I think is going to be a hot ticket item. Uh, you can probably get it on the IndyCar site right now. Uh, I don't know what uh, shipping is like to Spain uh, or anywhere else in the world for that matter uh, but if you want one of these uh, it's probably on IndyCar.com so I just put, picked up my keys so I can cut the packaging open here in a second uh, as you can see the packaging uh, there is no helmet for these guys um, this was kind of uh, from what I was told at the shop uh, at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, these came together very very late uh, so Oyo did not create any new parts for these uh, figures. They usually do hockey and baseball players, so they kind of had to go for their existing parts. So no helmet. Uh, they're just kind of wearing like a jersey uh, that you could buy like in a store at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's 10 pieces. You also get a little bit of gear there, a base, a water bottle, and a hat. You can see uh, it is compatible with uh, some kind of thing that I think starts with L and ends with Ego. Uh, and you can see bendable uh, knees, rotating forearms, and driver likeness. Does that look like Fernando? Let me know in the comments. And it's an officially licensed product of IndyCar. So let's get this thing out. I've got my keys right here. Uh, so we're going to just try to cut this real quick. I don't have like a knife or anything uh, because, of course, I am on the road in the hotel room. So hopefully I just cut enough of the uh, plastic there that I'll actually be able to uh, to pull this out. Also, I'm aware I'm probably destroying something that I could probably get about $50, $60 on, for on eBay at the moment because these just came out. In fact, probably more. Uh, but I also know that uh, people are going to want to see a review of these. I also bought some more OYOs, so you'll be able to see them uh, later on in this video. So this is what you get when, oops, well, uh, we've had problems. Alonzo's had a bit of a crash there. Uh, this is what you get. Uh, you just pull out uh, this, uh, this uh, cardboard bit, and then you have this blue bit in there uh, with the uh, pieces of Fernando Alonso. Uh, and I'm also aware that I'm pronouncing it both the American way and the proper way in this video. I'm doing that intentionally so nobody gets mad. You can see McLaren, uh, Honda, Andretti logo on the base along with Oyo Sports. And uh, you can look up the, uh, the uh, sole of the minifigure or whatever they call it. Uh, they call it some weird thing. So here's one of the parts which is kind of cool. It's the, uh, it's the legs of the minifigure and unlike a Lego, you do actually get a little bit of rotation uh, with the, uh, the feet. Uh, and here is uh, Alonzo's uh, torso along with his face. That's actually a separate part. You can't take his head off. Uh, I'm not going to, oh yeah, there you go. So you can't take Alonzo's head off, so you can swap the parts just like a Lego figure. Uh, so let's put the legs and the torso together. So there you go. You also get a hat uh, with the IndyCar logo on it. So uh, it's just a blue hat. It's a lot like his uh, McLaren Honda Andretti hat that you see him wear. And it actually is also for sale at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, though I heard they sold out. Uh, then you also get these elbow bits here. Uh, little small elbow bits that aren't focusing particularly well. It's kind of hard on the road in a hotel room uh, because you don't have quite the lighting kit that you have uh, when you're at your home base. So two elbow bits, those go in the arms uh, relatively easy, hopefully easy. Uh, and then you get the hands, which uh, if you're familiar with Lego, uh, those are very familiar. Sorry, I apologize for the dirty fingernails. I, like, I think I, uh, I checked my oil earlier today, so uh, that's what that's all about. Uh, let's get that, the, the hands in there, and maybe, there we go. Okay, so the hands, you do get one accessory with this, uh, which is a water bottle. 
Now, I'm not sure if this is a water bottle or supposed to simulate uh, the, uh, the milk at the end of the Indianapolis 500, uh, but that just easily slides into his hand, if I can find the uh, slot to move it in there, or just clip it on, that also works. So there you go, there's your Fernando Alonso uh, figure. Uh, he does have a black, a black t-shirt on underneath, so he's not going sleeveless. He does look a lot like a baseball player, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so there you go. Uh, let's put him on his base, and that will give us a good opportunity to show you all the way around Fernando. And this is the figure you get. Uh, this costed uh, $13. Oops, in the uh, Indy Car or the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum gift shop. Uh, so, pretty expensive uh, for uh, mini figures or Lego uh, knockoff stuff. Uh, but of course, it is a licensed product, uh, lots of sponsor logos on there. Uh, so, licensing fees are obviously a big deal. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to be after this. I did buy a few other OYOs. Uh, I actually, the first OU I bought was defending Indianapolis 500 champion Alexander Rossi. I bought this guy uh, to review later, uh, but it turns out since Alonzo came out, I decided to move this video up. Uh, so I bought Rossi, uh, and then once the uh, front row was set for the Indy 500, I bought a couple other guys. Uh, I bought uh, uh, Ed Carpenter, the middle driver on the front row of the Indianapolis 500. I forgot to show you the back of both him and Rossi. So there you go. Nothing too exciting about that. Uh, and I also bought the uh, pole sitter of the Indianapolis 500. Scott Dixon, who uh, just is wearing a generic Chip Ganassi racing suit. Uh, and he's got his uh, Dixon number nine on the back there. What you can do, though, uh, I did the OYO front row for the Indianapolis 500. So as you can see, um, it's a little bit crooked. Sorry about that, but... Uh, We'll try to fix that. There we go. So you got the OEO front row. You've got Scott Dixon on the inside, uh, Ed Carpenter in the middle, and Alexander Rossi on the outside. And then Fernando Alonso starts right there. But uh, yeah, that's Fernando Alonso, his uh, OEO figure. I, th I feel like this is going to be very, very desirable uh, for a lot of folks out there. Uh, a lot of people are going to be going after this little guy. Uh, because I'm pretty sure this is the only way you can get uh, a Alonso uh, Lego-ish figure. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this. This has been David Land on YouTube. Subscribe for more Indy 500 content and more, I guess, Fernando Alonso content. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.